you know, I've seen a lot of people online say you shouldn't buy a motorhome. We completely ignored all that. <laughs> oh, we're gonna buy a motorhome. Go, dig, dry, DIY. This past winter, we jumped on a pandemic bandwagon. It's missing a hubcap. The challenge was finding the perfect fixer upper in our price range before someone else did. We'd been searching and just missing out for months until today. Are you excited? Yes, excited, nervous, stressed, a little bit of everything. Everyone sells like instantly. And if it doesn't, it's nasty or way overpriced. Yes, but you have to be the first one there. If, this, if we get there and it's some, some piece of shit, oh, I'm going to cry. We're first in line. We message them within 35 minutes of them posting I'm it on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, so I'm going to try to take off work a little bit early. We're going to drive four hours up into Michigan and hopefully be driving a motorhome home tonight and still make our children go to school the following day. <laughs> Just got to try it. You got to try it once. And then after a year, we'll find out that, yeah, it's a money pit and we don't have time to use it when we do But we got to try it. I'm willing to try it. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to video too much because it's going to be dark in about an hour and we're going to have to look this all over in the dark. Sorry, it's but to see. it's an adventure. We made it, can you believe it? Now we're starting to regret and wonder if four and a half hours worth of driving was worth it, but here it is. Did you guys sleep on the way here? I'm no. excited. They were too busy. We're on our test drive. Um, it's really only my second time driving a motorhome, so I don't know what to expect. It feels okay to me. It's only my second time driving a motorhome. What's your first time driving? Uh, last week when I test drove one. Oh. It's not quite as pristine as I hope, but it's not bad either. Well, you can't expect much. No, I know. Oh, sit down, babe. So we're going to get it? I don't know. You, you want to get it? Yeah. All right, I think we're going to have to get it. Yay! Well, I don't know, but we got it. We can't. We appreciate it. All right. Well, we got it. It's about midnight. It's Kara's birthday. Ready? This sucker is uh, a rattler, isn't it? All right, five hours later, we're back in our hometown. I think we're gonna make it. Shake rattle roll kind of thing. We'll get a closer look at it when uh, after we get some sleep and we get her get some sunlight. Heck, I can't even talk. I'm kind of tired. This might have been the stupidest thing we've ever done. I don't know. All right. It's got a general overall scuzz to it. Well, first time driving the motorhome, what do you think? <laughs> We're on the back roads. And I'm just looking for rattles. This countertop is rattling a lot. The steering is a little sticky. I've been painting for what, three days now? I don't know, it feels like months, but yeah. She's been painting for two or three days on the motorhome. 
We're trying to polish a turd and get this thing fixed up a little bit so that we can go on our first outing come spring break. Every classy motorhome does this right here. We've got the furnace working now. We still got to get the water system fixed. Got to get a new refrigerator in place and hopefully be ready to go in about four weeks from now. So I figure we'll do the sticky tile, just maybe one row. Sticky tile, sticky. Does that look pretty good? Yeah. I like the glove. Oh my gosh, it's just like, every little thing we do is just such a huge, what's it control, is it really? I think it's light. We do a little cherry picking with the big health issues. It's all after. Like we talk about us being good housekeeping. 120 legs. Good. Cool. Shoes. Little, do you like it? It feels like a couch, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it is super it's cozy, so cozy soft. Cozy. Yeah. Okay, we're trying to get this incorrect fridge out of here. You got it? Yep. Okay. You want me to take it out? Yeah, you can take it out. Maybe it is bolted down in the back. As much as it rattles, I can't imagine. They got it Something's holding it. A bungee cord through the elements, maybe. They got one something holding it in there. <laughs> I put a 110 volt fridge in here so it won't work on propane. We bought the right fridge for this space. But we don't think it's going to fit through the door. I'm all right. So I took the front passenger seat out and now I'm taking the front passenger door off in an attempt to get the refrigerator inside the motorhome. And I still don't know if it's going to go in there. It'd be a miracle if it all works and we get the door back on. Mm. Clever. Well, it's gotta go this way. Ready? Gotta go down, Neil. Watch that part sticking out down there. Alright, I'm in. Got it? Yep, I got it. I got it, Larry. We're gonna lift it up. I can't pick up anymore. I'm almost hitting the top. What'd you say, Neil? I'm gonna. I think that's good. Hard little workers. That one she got super tight. So much better. Are you packing? Yep. <laughs> you all set to go? Should be. Well, we got done with nearly everything on our list just in time to head out for spring break. And thanks to Kara, the inside of the motorhome had an updated and fresh look and it felt good knowing that we had given it our own personal touch. Essentially, everything worked as it should, and we easily made the two-hour trip to the Ohio Caverns, and the girls loved it. We did some horseback riding and found a few other things to do while we were there. It was a great time and a great first stop. Then we went in an additional two hours south to meet up with the rest of my family in Hocking Hills of Southern Ohio. 
we spent our first two nights then in the RV parked in the driveway of their rental cabin, which gave us a sense of security nearby should something go wrong. But fortunately, we had two peaceful and uneventful evenings and everyone got a really good night's rest. So our first RV trip was a success. And as we made our way home, we were already thinking about and planning our next trip. Didn't know where it would be, but we knew we wanted to go again. Which brings us to Memorial Day weekend of 2021. We're packing up to head out on our first solo excursion. So there's no rental cabin safety net this time, but we think we'll get along just fine. And if all goes well, I think this RV is probably gonna be sticking around for a bit. Wish us luck. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me about your RV stories if you got them. But I hope to see you in the next video. So are you ready for a Memorial Day trip? Happy Memorial Day. So you're having second thoughts on whether we should even have it? <laughs>